Hi, my name is Andres, and today I'm going to be building the 4D model kit Imperial Tide Advanced X1. Big thank you over to Andres for putting this one together for us. He's a good friend of ours over here at rebelscum.com. So the person you saw rapidly assembling this model in front of your eyes was of course not me and not Warren this time, but Andres. Now, Andres doesn't quite have the model kit building skill level as Oren. He definitely hit a little bit more bumpiness than Oren did. So this is, this is another good time to hit that point of if this is your first time putting one of these together, take your time with it. Take your time, don't rush. Just because the average build time we say, and 40 puzz says is two to three hours, doesn't mean you need to rush to get it done in two to three hours because Andres had to go back and af you know, after assembling it on camera for you guys and fix some things because he didn't quite follow, you know, follow our advice, mine and Oren's advice when we said, hey, take your time with it, bro. Just, just build it, have fun with it, and make sure pieces line up before you try to put them in there because if they don't, they're not gonna line up right and other pieces aren't gonna line up because of it. Now, overall, we were able to get it all fixed up and it looks so much better as you can see here. There it is, it's looking very nice. But before we get to that, hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another rebelscum.com video review and today's review is sponsored by our good friends over at 4D Puzz. And today we are getting to a model that is one I've been very excited about. Not the one I'm most excited about. I gotta be honest. I love the TIE Fighter models they've put together so far. But the one I'm most excited to get to is the Star Destroyer. That's, that's the one I'm like, can't wait to get to. But we wanted to do another Starfighter next and we had to pick a really iconic one to do. And they were kind enough to send us this model kit here, Darth Vader's TIE Advanced X1. And it looks, as you can see, really, really awesome. Now, let's take a quick look at the box. So you get a very awesome image of the model itself assembled. I like that they use an image of the model for the artwork. It'd be cool if they used actual TIE Advanced artwork on here as well. I like the Death Star in the background and I like that it's firing some of its laser cannons there. But it'd also be cool if we had just somewhere on the box, I think, an image of the actual thing itself. Not that this looks not accurate at all. I The reason I think there should be somewhere, just it, maybe even on the back of the box, 4D Puzz, just so, just so you can see that side by side comparison, just so the collector can get an idea of just how truly accurate these model kits are and how really awesome they look next to the source material. Now, of course, you also get your instruction booklet here, which Andres did his best to follow as closely as possible. Pretty cool. And then, of course, he also got to build the stand for this beautiful piece as well. That's another thing that I talked about with the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. I love that they do stands for their starfighters and their ships. It, it just makes displaying them so much nicer than just having it sit static on your shelf or whatever, putting weight on some of these joints in case you don't, you know, in case you're having trouble building it, which is why they give you glue and tape, just, just in case you're having a little bit of a hard time or need something held in place for you. Uh, I, I like that they come with stands so you're not putting all the weight on these wings here because as you can see it's starting to spread a little bit now that's not so much due to the model so much as it is due to the person who assembled it again he had a little bit of a tougher time than than Oren does and I think he learned from his experience and will take his time from now on but overall Darth Vader's TIE Advanced looks very, very good. You have all of those paneling details. I like the way that the uh, the rear sections fold a little bit to get that kind of curvature effect for the, for the back here. As you can see how it just kind of curves together on the back. You got that full window view of the cockpit there, the canopy. All of those details are there. Even the quad lights on the back of the pod are there in red. You've got the little laser cannons there. 
you've got the solar panels and the paneling looks really nice nice flat long pieces i like that those weren't broken down into lots of individual little pieces i mean the guys over at 4d puzz really know what they're doing and it, it really makes for an awesome model i mean we have people come in all the time and see these in person where we have these displayed at over at order 66 toys and they're always asking how much for that even this one they're like how much for that that would look really really great on my shelf and i'm like i'm sorry that one's one of our display models check out the review over on rebelscum.com and check out 4d puzz here let me show you some websites where you can order some and for those of you who want to know you can get them on amazon go to the 4d puzz store and just go to their star wars section there and start ordering your models there if you really like these models because they are very very fantastic looking the detail is there it's a fun build process it's something that's relaxing and you get to take your time with and it, there, there's just something therapeutic to building a model kit just giving you that physical involvement of building something as a part of something you love to add to your collection there's a sense of pride i think that also comes with that so Definitely check these guys out if you haven't already from our past two reviews and stay tuned because there are more reviews coming and more model kits for us to put together. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you go check out 4D Puzz on Amazon. Make sure you check them out at Calendar Club if you're in Canada. Make sure you check out their models in Go Calendar Toys and Games if you're in the United States shopping around some shopping malls. That's where you can find them here in the States. And get some of these models and put them together and have a good time maybe make it a family thing there's there's a lot you get to do with these and guys they do a lot more than just star wars i know i probably shouldn't be saying that here on rebelscum.com because we're all star wars here but they do a lot more than star wars for example one of their more big impressive models they did a full hogwarts that thing is so cool i don't know if you've seen it but it is very impressive so go check them out Stay tuned for more content, stay tuned for more reviews, stay tuned for more 4D Puzz sponsored reviews, and we'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.